In the wake of massive ESPN layoffs, Pepe Zai has signed a multi-year extension with a worldwide leader. Hello everyone, Pepe Zai here, lead analyst of ESPN Football. Catch me versus Stephen A on first take, 7 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. Eastern. But after my infamous predictions video that landed me this contract, I feel like I gotta show more of my ball knowledge. We are ranking every single NFL player in today's video. Starting with wide receivers, Adam Thielen. He's mid, you know, I watch a lot of Thielen films. His cuts aren't as explosive as they used to be, all right? He's no longer the same guy. A.J. Brown. He's a top 15 top 10 receiver you know what i'm saying borderline elite alec pierce oh i could watch alec pierce all day he's solid trust me he's better than feeling right now guys alan robinson you're trash no alan robinson sucks let's be the best receiver in the xfl amari cooper he's good i feel like he's a little overrated amon ross st brown he's borderline elite you know when i watch film i i, I see a lot of uh uh a lot of Marvin Harrison. He made Jared Goff look good, guys. Come on, he made Jared Goff look good. Not even Cooper Cup can make Jared Goff look good. All right, he's borderline elite. Brandon Ayuk. No bias, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think I've seen a talent like this since Jerry Rice. The things that this guy can do on the field, he is criminally underrated. I'm putting him at borderline elite. Ayuk. I watch him week in, week out. I know what I'm talking about. All right, CD Lamb. Uh, he's up there as well. He, he's, he's borderline elite. Cooper Cup. Elite. He's our first elite player. All right. This is not racially motivated. I'm just saying that he's a good matter of fact You know what? I don't want these comments. I'm gonna leave him down here for now Let me put someone else up there first. Uh, Devontae Adams is elite. Then let me put Cooper a cup. All right there, there you go elite Curtis Samuel mid Debo Samuel see guys the reason I landed my job at ESPN is because I'm not biased I say things how it is man Debo Samuel. He's borderline elite. I would put him at elite But I don't want to lose my job here. So we're gonna put him at borderline elite. I'm being real. You know what I'm saying? God, there's a lot of receivers. All right, let's be run Devin Duvernay Mid. Devontae Smith, he's good. DeAndre Hopkins is elite. Stephon Diggs is elite. Deontay Johnson is good. DK Metcalf. Ah, he's good. Dwayne Eskridge. Can I make a tier just for him? Because I don't even think he's trash. Like, I, I, what, what is he? Julio Jones. This breaks my heart. One of my favorite receivers growing up. But injuries caught up to him, guys. But but you're still better than Juju. Kenny Galladay. No, let's add a roll. Let's make it red. He's out of the league. All right, guys, guys. Terry McLaurin, see, this is a great one to test if your friends really know football. Terry McLaurin, to me, he's elite. If you have him at borderline elite, you know, I won't be mad at you. If you have him at good, you need to watch a different sport. It's not for you, all right? Mike Evans as well, elite. These two, they're perfect indications of ball knowers. Michael Pittman, he, he's solid. It's just something... I, something's off about him. Something about Michael Pittman just, just throws me off. It, it just, he just, you know what? No, man, I don't like him. I'm a Michael Pittman hater. Rondale Moore. Yeah, he's trash. What do we think about these wide receiver rankings? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, all right? But wide receiver's easy. People who play fantasy football, they all know the wide receivers. But a true indication of a ball knower is if you know your corner. And ladies and gentlemen, I know my cornerbacks, all right? Adoree Jackson, you're trash. I don't care, he's garbage. Uh, AJ Terrell, you're, you're special. How special is he? All right, AJ Terrell, he's a special number one. I didn't make these tiers. Matter of fact, I didn't look this over. Who cares? Akello Witherspoon. Touchdown over Witherspoon for 41. I still have nightmares about Akello. This man still haunts me, man. Th th those are some dark days. All right, next up. Um, is that Patrick Peterson? Who is that? 23 on the way. Xavier Woods? Oh, hell, hell no. He's trash. Is that Anthony Brown? You know, I actually spent last night uh, watching Anthony Brown film while I was eating dinner. And, you know, I can comfortably say he's feeling the pressure, all right? He may be out of the league soon. I wouldn't be surprised if he's heading off the free agency, all right? Maybe the XFL. Asante Samuel? Yeah, he's special. He's a really good player. I'm not going to lie. Chargers got a good one there. Byron Jones? Byron Jones is trash. I don't care how much he's getting paid. He needs to learn Chinese. Get ready for the CFL. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking Canada either. Okay. I, uh... Actually do not know who this is. Is that Christian Fulton? I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Tr trash, I, I guess. 27 of Vikings. That's, uh, I believe, Chris Boy. Let me just make sure here. Oh, he's 29. Okay, who the hell is 27? Cameron Dantzler. Uh, yeah, he's trash. Oh, snap, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise at home. The best regular season cornerback of all time is in the building. Charvarius Ward. This was regular season. He'd be best in the league, okay? We're including playoffs. He's, he's a special number one. I I'm gonna move Ambry down. Ambry's not better than Charvarius. Uh, Mike Hilton, he's a good player. You know, he's he's on the path to superstar. I'd love me some Mike Hilton. 15 on the Panthers. Who the f LaVisca Chenault? Shema? Eli Apple. You know what? I actually like Eli Apple. He talks like he's elite. You know what I'm saying? Which is why people think he's trash. So, like, you have to, like, be in the middle ground. You know what I mean? Which is where I am. Comfortable number two, Eli Apple. Emmanuel Mosley, he's elite. His game actually moves me. It, it actually makes me emotional when I watch Emmanuel Mosley. Jalen Ramsey, one of the best in the league as well. He didn't have a best season. But I'm trying to get him to the 49ers in case he gets released. All right, Jalen Ramsey, he's best in the league. James Bradbury. What about Bradbury? Trash. 
Trash. He's garbage, alright? JC Horn, his game moves me too. If he had like a metal spine, he'd be elite, okay? Pause. Trayvon Diggs, you know, he, he's like a... He, he's he's a comfortable number two. I'm not explain it. Like, imagine like a garbage shoe that only takes in garbage, but not like recycling and like food. Like that's what Trayvon Diggs is. He he only takes garbage. But there you guys go. That's my cornerback tier list. So the bottom line that I'm trying to get to here with these rankings is that I watch tape. So all you guys who don't watch tape out there, I want you to go watch these guys carefully. Next up, running back. Alvin Kamara, that's an S tier running back. He's gonna be dominating the yard. All right, James Conner, uh, I'll give him B. Josh Jacobs, he, he's S tier. That's Chris Carson though. Yeah, he's out of the league. So I guess I'll just put him at D because he's got a Seahawks jersey on. Jonathan Taylor, he fell off. Oh my God, guys. Who fell off more than Jonathan? He might be most regressed player. Zeke is a C. He lost it. All right. Miles Sanders, he's a B. DeAndre Smith is an A. Tony Pollard, I'll give an A. That's Brees Hall, right? Yeah, that's Brees Hall. That's definitely Brees Hall. That knows that. Yeah, that's Brees Hall. He's a good player. He's an A. Raheem Moster. I hate Raheem Moster now. He's an A. Best running back in the NFL. You know what? Put him, put him at the front. How special is he? C -M -C. <laughs> Coldest white boy in the game, Antonio Gibson. You're out. Devontae's a B. He let me down a little bit. I can't lie. Austin Eckler. He. Ooh, Austin Eckler's a tough one, actually. You know what? I'm gonna give him S tier. I'm gonna give Austin Eckler his love. You're welcome. All right. I'm, I'm gonna be looking like you in a little bit here. Saquon. Saquon's an S tier. Yeah. I. I, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, AJ Dillon. He's an S tier on Madden. He's a B tier running back. Uh, Elijah Mitchell. How special is he? He's A tier. All right. If you know ball, you put Eli Mitchell up at A. If Eli Mitchell had a running back one situation. It's Jover. I'm gonna put Aaron Jones at B. Henderson. Ooh, he's. He definitely knows the best food stops in LA. Clyde Edwards Alaire is trash. Trash, boy. Derrick Henry, man, this is who I, you know, this is who I look up to, guys. You know, before I took the ESPN job, you know, I was training to be a Derrick Henry prototype. See that, see that, see, see that button hanging off for his life? Dalvin Cook, Dalvin Cook's an A. If he's fully healthy for a whole year, I could definitely put him an S, but I'm gonna give him an A. Nick Chubb, Nick Chubb's an S. Nick Chubb's my last S right there. Let me know what you guys think of this. But let's move on, all right? Tight end. Mark Andrews, he's our first S tier tight end. Welcome, Mark Andrews. He's in the building. Dallas Goddard, he's an A. Jorge. George Kittle, the people's tight end. That's an S tier tight end. The best tight end in the NFL. Best all around tight end. I don't want to hear it. That's just the truth. Kyle Pitts is a C. Joku, C. Wilcom, D. Evan Ingram, we'll give him a B. Travis Kelsey, you got to give him an S, man. He, 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 he. Darren Waller, you know what? Ah, uh, See, because I feel like if you're an S, like, I would instant S. But the fact that I did this, I was like, ah, I put him in A. TJ Hawkinson, that's an S tier tight end. I like what I see out of TJ Hawkinson, you know what I'm saying? Austin Hooper, that's a that's, that's, that's the most mid player of all time. I'm going to move Zach Ertz up to an A. He's just a borderline A. And I actually don't know who this guy is, so I'm going to put him at D, okay? There you go. That's my starting tight ends list. Let me know in the comments. But this is what everyone's been waiting for, NFL quarterbacks. Now, before I get into this, you guys are probably wondering, where the hell are the linebackers? Where are the O-line, D-line, safety? For whatever reason, this website, it doesn't have the tier list for those positions. It has Joe Burrow, game day outfits, Minnesota Vikings head coaches. They, they don't have safety. I tried to look for them, but if you guys can find the rest of the positions, let me know. And maybe we can do a part two, all right? But NFL QB, this is why ESPN hired me, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get the glasses back on. I am what they call a uh, QB guru. You're not going to get more accurate information than this on the internet, okay? Aaron Rodgers, he's great. That's how we're starting off. All right, Baker Mayfield, he's terrible. Carson Wentz, terrible. Zach Prescott is average. Daniel Jones is average. Eric Carr is average. Deshaun Watson, he's a great player. Geno Smith. I'll give him an average. Kobe Brissett is average. Jalen Hurts. He's an elite quarterback, all right? I love the intangibles. Leadership qualities, all right? He's got a noodle arm. That is true. But you know what? I like everything else about him. I'm gonna put him at elite. Jameis Winston, he's great. Jared Goff, I like him too. He's great. Jimmy Garoppolo, man, he might be best of the best. Ooh, I'm tempted. I'll put him at average because he's about to leave the 49ers. If he was staying on the 49ers, he would be up there. Joe Burrow. In my opinion, he is the second best quarterback in the NFL. Best of the best. Josh Allen. We'll put him at elite, all right? He's on the same tier as Jalen. Hurts. When push came to shove, did I see Josh Allen produce the results I wanted him to produce? No. He's got the talent, okay? Matter of fact, I picked him for the Super Bowl. But I was kind of disappointed in him last year. I'm not going to lie. He's elite. Justin Fields. He's great. I'm a fan. I, I, I love me some Justin Fields. I think the Bears should actually trade him. But I like him. I think he's a good QB. I've been a big fan. Justin Herbert, he's uh he's great. I think I'm able to name eight quarterbacks better than him. All right, Kenny Pickett, he's terrible. Kirk Cousins is average, so average. Kyler Murray, so average. Lamar Jackson, he's elite. He deserves his money. Big trust. Where do y'all think Lamar Jackson's gonna go? Leave it in the comments down below. See how I engage with the crowd. That's ESPN right there. Mac Jones is average. Malik Willis, he's got room to grow, but for now he's absolutely terrible. Matt Ryan, I like Matt Ryan. I don't think he's done yet. I don't think he's out of his prime. Ever since that last video, I have not been able to look at Matt Ryan the same way. Okay. He, he, 
he's, he's terrible. Patrick Mahomes, that's the best quarterback in the NFL. I was looking back at that 2017 draft the other day. Everybody makes fun of the Bears for drafting Mitch Trubisky. But the 49ers, we have Brian Hoyer as our starting quarterback. And we took Solomon Thomas. <laughs> God, Russell Wilson, he's average. Tom Brady is no longer in the game, but you know what? Just to give him his respects, we got to put him at elite. Trevor Lawrence is elite. I'm a big fan of Trevor Lawrence. Trey Lance. How special is he? I see the future with this one. I'm going to put him at great. You guys probably think I'm trolling. I'm not. I'm ready for him to win the starting job next year. All right? I can see it. He's going to do great things in San Francisco. I truly believe it. Tua. Post-CTE, he's terrible. Pre, he's a great quarterback. All right? Pre, he is. Tyrod Taylor is terrible. Zach Wilson. We, we all know. All right, there you go. In the comments down below, do you guys want to see more tier list videos? And don't forget to catch your boy on first take, 7 a.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. I'll see you guys there.